Today, my brother and I are flipping this abandoned Minecraft base into the world's most amazing castle. And our goal today is to see if we can sell this for millions of dollars of profit. One of my ideas, even though it's probably not the best way to start off, is I want to turn this into a little bit of a crystal cave. I have this really great vision in my mind. All right, so in order to obviously pull this off, we need an amethyst. And, uh, you know, we finally got an amethyst. So I'm going to collect basically the entire thing and every single block that I can because it's the only way to get this build and move it up to where I want it to be. The first thing that we need to do is to clear out this disgusting looking building right here. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff that's coming out. We're about to just chain these TNTs throughout this entire thing. I feel like that should be enough TNT. We're about to find out. Oh my gosh, just an expertly done demolition right there. Cause we basically just blew up that entire building without affecting anything else. So I think let's start off by making our very first crystal. My idea is I want to kind of create them coming out of the ground a little bit. All right, these are going to be different than the normal Minecraft crystals. Oh my gosh, guys, there is a baby zombie on a chicken attacking me right now. We are 100% going to take this thing down to Leverfella. And there's a creeper following us. This is literally perfect. We're about to blow him up. Whoa. Dude, turn around right now. Look what's behind you. No, oh, baby chicken. How rare are those things? I don't know. Lock it in a cage though. I can't. There's a creeper with it. I need your help. All right. All right. I'm going to get rid of the creeper. We got to lock up the baby. Boom. Get a name tag. I'm going to hold this thing in a cage. All right. Done. All right. I'm not going to get a name tag because that just is a lot of work right now. So I'm going to let him go ahead and worry about that while I build this right here. So this is our very first little crystal guys in the crystal cave. I think it's looking kind of nice. I think it'd be interesting if we did a something like this took it down a little bit and kind of made like a crystal vein that went up the wall something like this but what i really need to do is grab some uh smelted stone which i don't have any of oh i could use some of this all right this is exciting uh this is the guy's chest who already lived here so i'll take some andesite yeah let's just get this roof picks in here it looks like the guy who previously owned this base kind of came in maybe demolitioned it a little bit too much here and to me it's gonna be a little bit of a tacky vibe next step of this base is going to be taking this road from the original road right here all the way across that way we have a set center line in the base. All right, so now we've taken the road all the way across the center of this castle right here. What I want to do now is bring another one opposite of this going that way. Um, that way we have basically like a four corners in the middle of the base and we'll know exactly where the middle of this entire structure is. Okay, so to me, it looks better. Obviously though, I did miss a few spots here. So I'll just fill this in with a little bit of extra bonus amethyst here for some texture. Now this thing actually looks a little bit more like what could be maybe passed off as some sort of an amethyst crystal cave. Uh, I guess I missed all this too. I think I'm going to leave it open actually. I'm going to leave it open. So I know this is crazy and y'all are thinking, Zach, what in the world are you, what are you doing today with this cave? But trust me, this is going to be super cool. If I go in here and take some of this calcite, surround the entire thing with calcite, this actually will end up looking like an entrance into the crystal cave and the entrance will be a crystal. It's going to be really, really cool looking and uh, hopefully somewhat natural as well in design. So you've kind of got this interesting little crystal shape. And then on the inside, all we have to do now is create the amethyst, which I think will just take down a little bit. And then this is gonna become a ladder. Now, I also wanna make a staircase on the way down and add a whole bunch more design. So let me go ahead and do something like that. Maybe a couple more, uh, just like little tiny baby amethysts. Like right here, this to me is a perfect window to add another one that you could walk through and it separates this from the other area. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at that. That is now a really much cooler design. We should add some depth to it though. I feel like it's a little too flat. So I think we can do something like this. So you just add a little depth, a little flavor, a little pizzazz, a little something, something like that. And it just kind of makes it feel a little bit more alive. So now what used to be an ugly room is still an ugly room. Don't get me wrong. This doesn't look good by any means, but it is just a little bit less ugly. All right, guys. So we have successfully made the four corners now of the base. We know exactly where the middle is, which is right here. We're just going to work off what we got here and start our construction on the inner castle. So I'm going from the middle now now and counting out 15 blocks diagonal and we'll do that on every single side and then we'll connect the corners and that's going to give us a perfectly even building right in the middle of the base then i've got regular stalactite so i'm going to pop a couple of these bad boys in here i don't want to overdo it with these but i think just a few is going to just kind of bring it together and sell it a little more as this like cool little custom biome and then i get to come back and do the actual really cool part which is give this thing a little bit of life we're gonna go with a dark wood theme and i want this to feel a little bit like a mine bro i wonder what isaac's doing though i haven't seen it okay now that we have basically gotten the entire Higher square here perfectly even what we need to do now is actually just dig out these diagonals right here because they're not actually useful for anything other than what we use them for already which was measuring so what i think i could do is like put down some of these in the corners and like strip them and this kind of to me gives me like the vibe that it's like some sort of like little thing holding up a uh the mine shelf there we go so this one's gonna be broken it's held up by just a little bit of a, a little bit that's still left and then i feel like on the edge we're gonna come in and give it like kind of like a little bit of a dark overlay kind of like that and i do have some lanterns so i, I feel like as far as lighting goes these are 
gonna look like just phenomenal down here. So again, we'll just randomly disperse a couple of these bad boys, give it a nice vibe. I don't wanna do too much though. And then I have my ladder, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here so it's actually usable. And then I feel like, to me, just like putting a couple random ladders down again, it's just a dub, trust the instincts, all right? So this is really coming together, but something about it doesn't quite feel right because I want them to actually come down here. And to me, it's kind of a cool idea to make this their mine shaft. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm working out some sort of fancy design out here on the outer wall, and we're just gonna bring this pattern all the way around the entire thing. And I just have to figure out what the right ratios are for everything, but I think it's coming along quite nicely. Dude, I feel like you gotta start helping me with the middle though. That's not even like the base. All right, all right, let's go help Isaac. All I need to do is make a quick little way to get up there, a very simple pathway. Then they're gonna have access to the world's most incredible mine shaft. All right, let's get to work on this castle then. I'm gonna work on the interior a little bit here. What do we wanna make the, the ground? Uh, well, I'm thinking this block, the smooth stone block though, Zach, it's down there in the chest. I'll get the floors placed then on the interior. I'm gonna just go over the open paths now since they're already broken. Over there in La La Land. What? Bro, I just heard that. How do you die to a creeper, dude? Three of them blew up in like a matter of seconds. We've got the interior floor. Now to go through with all my dark wood and turn it onto planks and then turn all of this into a plank design. And I think we'll be able to add some carpet and stuff to clean this up, but I don't know. I feel like the dark is just like a vibe today. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling dark. Well, that's all the dark wood I had, so time to spend the $97,000 I have now on more wood. All right, I don't really have scaffolding to get down right now, guys. I'm building the second layer of the wall of the middle building, and I think we just gotta fall down, and then hopefully we don't die. Perfect, we have plenty of health, and now we're just gonna dig another pillar right back up. The interior is just about finished in terms of the flooring here, so this came together pretty well, and uh, I'm gonna work on a little bit of exterior renovation here while you keep working on this, all right? Okay. By that, I mean I'm getting out of here. So let's go ahead and do stuff like, you know, tear this tree down. Make a nice little path. I would say this to me could be a nice little gravel road. Actually, I mean, it is a castle. It probably should be like one of those like random kind of like, you know, a couple nice blocks in there, a couple cobbles, you know. All right, so this to me looks like a Royal King Road to walk into your giant castle. And this is going to be a giant castle. Don't get me wrong, folks. It's gonna be major. All right, I'm slowly building up the second interior wall of the main base right here. And this is a slow process, guys. It takes so long to get this even. Okay, you know what? I actually really like the shape that we've created. Now we just need to turn that 90 degrees and go all the way around and it's all gonna link up perfectly. What exactly is this thing? Is this a, is this a base? What's going on? I haven't even looked inside this building. A lava farm that you can fall into, turns out. So he's got all lava there, so it says lava collector and then it looks like the rest of it is all carrots so this is a product we could use to sell the issue is it's so massive and ugly i don't really know how to make this look better oh we even have beehives over here a two of them oh boy that's gonna be a doozy to get that cleaned up you know what i realized too there's also an entire exterior base out here that the guy also owns so we'll go ahead and just connect the path into it all right, so this now connects to apparently the guy's uh, other base that apparently he owns outside. I mean, this thing looks like it's kind of empty on the inside, I think, maybe. Oh, wow, this is where he actually lived. Bro, this is a doozy of a project, isn't it? Dude, this is a doozy. Come look at this side, Zach. I mean, we have to replicate this on all four sides. It's gonna take a massive amount of time. I know, I'm letting you kind of do that while I work on all the exterior details here. I'm getting the roads and the paths built. This is gonna be the most majestic road you've ever seen, though. I think this will blow your mind when I'm done with it. All right, guys, we're just going along and detailing out the same side of the wall. I wanna get the one side completely finished so that we don't have to be changing things after we've already built the other sides. And then on the outside, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this all in with stone brick for now. And then we'll detail in after we have it filled in. All right, guys, so the road is done. Well, before I show you the road, I actually wanna work on flipping this area right here. I just think it needs cleaned up. There's really not a ton to do. It's just like, you got weird stuff like this. We could use some glowstone in here, which like the cool thing is with glowstone, you can kind of like put it under your water, close that up, and then you don't have to see it. Or if you like looking at the water, you can. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's a little bit messy. So we're gonna work on this. If you need an Indian for tech support, what? Then we can go through and kind of like just replant some of this. Okay, so it looks like I've replanted all of this now. So when this grows, it's gonna look better, but the, the whole road now still has to go. So let's just get this thing cleaned up now. I don't love it. I don't love the road. I have been continuously working on improving the front of this base, and I think it is finally at a spot where I am comfortable replicating it to the other three sides, guys. So once we have this all completed, we can fill in the roof at the top, and then we have to furnish the inside. But for now, I'm gonna just replicate all the stuff, and then we'll see what it looks like. One hour later. So guys, I just got back from a delicious lunch, and I 
has expelled the entire outside of the base. But the good news is, though, I, before I check that out, all my crops grew. The grass kind of spread pretty nicely. We even grew a little bit here. Uh, I, I think this looks a little bit nicer. So let's take a look on the inside of this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to go help him with that in a second. I just have some fences here and a crafting table. I do want this to be a really nice uh, area down here. Not just because I feel like my brother's outdone me today by a significant margin in his building, but also because I just really want this to look good. I don't want to do too many fences, but man, a little bit of a fence detail goes a long way in making a place look nice. Painstakingly replicated this side of the building to all of the other sides, and I think we did it pretty much perfect, but to be honest, I might be getting so tired of this. I need a new project, so we might be switching Loverfella and going to work on the outside stuff, and then maybe he can do some of the interior stuff of the new castle. I feel like the beehives would look great down here, so I'm going to relocate those, and I think these would look a lot better down here by the base inside the farm, and even better if I put them in the actual farm itself, like in the middle of it somewhere. So I think it'd look real good if we just like did something like this, that right on top. Did another one right here. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal design right there. Isaac, what? Look at this. I think this looks pretty good. I, I feel like you need to like separate it more from the inner castle. Maybe put a fence along the upper ridge right here. Maybe. Yeah, that might be a good idea. This road looks good though. The pebbles, the rocks, the detail. I made fa fa I've never even seen a lamppost like this. I invented these. And they have daylight sensors, by the way, guys. So yeah, these turn on in the day. And those are very unique. They're very modern looking. All right, let's get to it then. All right, all I have to do now is go through here and fill in with the big stone bricks right here, and we are completely done replicating all the sides. All right, let's just take these bad boys back to our base. For example, in between these benches, I really feel like this is going to pop. Uh, <laughs> it does. All right, I feel like maybe a little bit of a pond area would look pretty nice back here, especially in front of it. So I'm going to make a pond. And then uh, I want some very comfortable seatings here. So uh, what I'll do is this is the solo seat. If you don't want anyone bothering you, this is the seat where you're surrounded by bushes. I think I'll just put a hay here for now. I think it'll just be a nice little detail. Yeah. So I'm going to use this guy's sand to actually sandify the bottom of my entire place uh, to make this pond a little bit more appealing. And then I've got a chicken spawner. And I think it'd be kind of an interesting idea to maybe put that kind of in the ground. And then you could have the chicken spawn near it. And it would just give this area a little bit more light. So before the water, let's use all the sand that we just stole from the guy and uh, put that inside and technically I guess we didn't seal it, but I do think this will really make it look better. That looks a lot better. Let's get this thing filled up with some water. Okay, I'm currently going through the inside of the wall of our new little base here and just detailing out the edges. I think we just want to get a ceiling on this thing, detail out the windows, and then add some cool, like basically just a cool giant main room in here. Maybe a chandelier and a nice little like seating area. This castle will be complete. So guys, before I show you the sick upgrades I made to the pond, I came outside again to come grab some more resources. And I was just thinking about how kind of this base is really actually pretty nice, but it just needs a little detail. Detail. And so I'm going to place a couple of these bushes around the edge. This will kind of fill it up and make it look a little bit more, just a little bit more lively. I'm going to put a couple more around this house over here as well. I really do feel like it looks good. I know some people are going to hate it, but I literally feel like it looks great. I'm not flipping this whole base. However, when I see an opportunity that's an easy fix like this takes five seconds, I'm going to take it. And that fix is, let's get a freaking window up here, bro. Fill it in, takes 13 seconds, increases the load by 13,000%. All right, let's see how this looks from the outside. That looks a thousand times better. The way you can see it now, the way it's got a little detail, the berry bushes, it's all coming together. This is what Isaac's done. All right, he's got around with some bone meal and some spruce. Uh, are these spruce? I think, yeah. Planted these and I love the way it's changed the ground. It's given it just a really good castle feel. I finished the pond up, added some bamboo flowers, the usual, added some moss, sea pickles, and we're strategically placing trees now to kind of hide this monstrosity because we haven't figured out how to handle it yet. <laughs> So guys, over the past couple hours, Isaac and I have added a lot of little details to the base, like a fully functional roof. We've added like grass and, and really just a lot of tiny stuff. Like if you look over here, I updated my gem mine a little bit. I like kind of brought the gems out, added some little deets in there. And then actually we've got a little campfire over here. So yeah, this leads over to the main road. And I think if I'm smart about it and just break a couple blocks, it just creates you a nice little path block like that. And that connects down there. So obviously a lot's been done, but there's still a major amount of work to do today. And while Isaac works on detailing the outside of our a castle that looks like a church for some reason with fire themed glass. I don't know, bro. He built the castle, not me. I want to do the interior. So yeah, I mean, when you got ceilings that are about 55 feet high, you, you know, you do got to maybe treat yourself with a couple of larger doors as well. So these are definitely for Minecraft zombie giants. And let's just make this one our smelting room. All right. And we are finishing the last lower window on this side of the building. You know what, guys? That is a very unique feel. But you know what? I do feel like these colors work well with the stone brick. I think up top, maybe we'll use like black stained glass or white stained glass. Um, But for now, we're just going to have to replicate 
replicate this on the other sides of the building. Okay, so the furnace room is not going to have actually a lot of furnaces, believe it or not. It's just gonna look good. I wanna actually put a cauldron right in the middle here. And then we kinda gotta have a lot of fun here with like pillars and crap, you know, pop some pillars down. It really, at this point, you just want it to look very forgy and there's no particular design that's gonna work. You just make it up as you go. So something like that. What I hate though, is it the, 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 the box are the same color as the back wall. Maybe a little bit of dark oak wood here as well. That looks really bad, actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like straight up, this looks like dookie. You know what though? If we bring it all the way to the ground, it's actually somewhat still bad, but not as bad. What if I do this right in the middle? So this becomes a central forge table. Let's go ahead and raise this up one so I can dangle a lantern down. Now, ideally what you're gonna want here is like a bunch of like other like furnaces to actually use. So let's go ahead and maybe expand over a secondary section here. And if I learn from my mistakes of this one and try to make this one a little bit better. Okay, there you go. A little furnace table to do some smelting. Uh, I feel like we could put a, a, a tasteful row back here of furnaces. Something like this. Like if you give it a nice little tasteful little roundabout in the corner, that is tasteful. Hey, that's very nice. That's very exotic. It's very fun. It's starting to come together. I mean, it's giving me that forge vibe. It's giving me that medieval freaking Renaissance festival type thing. You know, you know people that go to those. They're weird, but I'd go to one too if there was one near me. Obviously stone on the floor here because obviously A, it's going to break it up, but B, and most importantly, this is going to allow the room to not burn down if you take out a hot coal from the forge. Oh, you know what I'm missing? Some dark spruce trap doors. I feel like this is what the issue is here. I didn't have enough trap doors on her. The trap doors definitely go a long way to bring that forge together and make it look quite a bit better. I'm gonna see what Isaac's up to. Isaac, what you been doing? Well, I put in the stained glass on the lower level, Zach, and then I've been doing all the paths around the base right now. This is really coming together. We got a lot of great details here. I think in the main like hallway here, Zach, we need to get some armor stands. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna get started on the chest room now, right across from the forge. Okay, I'll do the hallways in here then. All right, so for this chest room, it's gonna have a similar medieval vibe. You know, you could kind of do the old double layer stacker, bring it up just to about there. So something like that's gonna be pretty solid. Right in the center, I mean, frankly, all you gotta do is add yourself something simple like this. So the staircases bring you on up to the top here. And then uh, what I'd like to do is create kind of a little bit of a walkway all the way around the edge here. What I'd like to do is give you actually another one of these. All right, how's that look? Exotic. I don't know why you want to get up there yet. I haven't exactly determined the reason for either of these, but it feels like these are just kind of like little bonus storages, you know, pop down a little favorite chest there. And then uh, you got another one. Obviously you got to have some bookshelves in here. So we'll go ahead and stack this and up right to there and then go ahead and cap that off. That way it's a nice little connection point. We're going to go back home because I feel like we need some carpet. Let's do a flower pot right here. Let's do that right there. Let's go ahead and take one of these and put that right there. And then uh, I want to give it like that same fire vibe. So let's say you walk in and you got a, um, just a yellow a little circle right here. A little yellow and orange. It adds a little pop, a little pizzazz, a little flavor right there. You know, while I'm here, I might as well do a similar sort of feeling in this room. I'm gonna give this one a border, and then as far as yellow, I think just a little, little dabble right there. I am gonna go along the hallways now and add some armor stands, and these are gonna be like guards that are guarding the castle, guys. All right, so I'm thinking about putting six like that on each doorway, and then we'll cover them up with some leather armor. Alrighty, I've successfully got all of the armor stands placed in here. Oh, I guess I didn't. I forgot this side, but I also put four in the middle, and I feel like we'll juice these guys up with like iron armor or something. Hallway wise, Isaac's getting a great little setup here with all of these little guys. Uh, I do want to get some more color maybe in the hallway, something really subtle. So I think like some little orange pops right on these little corner pieces is going to look good. I don't know. I feel like with the yellow, it might just be okay to just put it right here at the beginning of the door. Okay, guys, we're below the zombie farm right now, but basically all kinds of you guys have been coming here and harvesting our zombies for us. So there's a bunch of loot down here and we don't really care about anything but the iron. We are back now and I have made eight iron chest plates. It's going to be a slow process. Process. Basically, we're gonna have to put all these on the armor stands and then come back and craft all the other parts of the armor. Okay, the chest room, the furnace room, they're not done, obviously. They still have a lot of work to go, but I feel like they're a good starting point so we can come back and finally detail later, which is kind of the way I work. And obviously, we need a lot of uh, lanterns. So I'm gonna see if there's any other little items and knickknacks back in home base. I think it'd be kind of dope here to pop down a couple of those brewing stands. And then I've got a little banner. Yeah, I guess a little Princess Peach Castle vibe, which actually was not the original plan, but uh, why not? So a fun little Easter egg for everybody who comes here. And then I want to see, uh, obviously this would probably look better as lanterns, but I think if we strategically would place them back in the walls, this actually might be a really cool way to get some interesting backlighting. See that right there really brings the light in. And then you look over here and it's like, God, that is a dark dungeon of like death. Still ridiculously dark though in the majority of these rooms. I mean, it's actually like basically like actually horrifying when you look inside of this room. All right. And the final pair of pants is going on this mannequin right here. Now the central one, guys, I think we have to make them like diamond armor or we go get some daily gear to put on these guys because they're obviously like the four 
four best knights. They can't be wearing the same armor. I want a living room and a bedroom, but I need to take a break from inside the house and go back outside and get a little bit of work going on here. Isaac said he made a path outside. I'd like to take a look a little bit more at that, see what we got here. Because, you know, I feel like, personally, the path should walk around a little bit more, right? Right through these trees, kind of bring it around town here. So let's go ahead and do a little something like this. And I believe there's another gate over here, and I could also add just a couple of, like, fences like this. There you go. Got your little path right there. And then this fence I'm going to take all the way along this entire side. There we go. That's a little better. Look at that framing, dude. You actually see the perfectly centered crafting table with a sword in it. That's what that is. That is a sword, not just a lamp. All right. It's a little build hack. Bro, this is looking sick. We need some cool armor back here for the middle. Do you have any daily gear that you could bring back? Yeah, I could go. I could do that. A full set of vote items. These are, like, pretty rare on the server. I mean, not really, but kind of. They just look, like, super sick. And then a special little enchanted hat. And then over here, I've actually got a set of daily. And so these are items you get just for logging into the network and so i'll go ahead and put these here as well so i'll pop this bad boy on look at these fits bro are you kidding me all right so it looks like he brought back a boat helmet and a daily helmet and i've done the same thing so we might as well crisscross them and now we have this sweet looking area right here i did bring back some item frames though because i think it'd be cool to display some swords or something oh he's already doing our torch thing that was my idea that's what i said those were for little torch things he just got it okay that was a good idea then oh some decorations i see yeah i feel like you need some of those do we need some paintings in here in the main room, Zach, you think that would look tacky. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna need some paintings. It's Okay. So I'm getting some lights around the place, Isaac. I'm gonna go outside and furnish it up with some lights. It's very dark. Okay. So we can see this is kind of the nighttime vibe out here, and um, while it's not too bad, I definitely don't want mobs to be spawning in our prospective buyer's home. Yeah, that's really helping, I think, sell the place. It's making it look a lot better. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit actually on the walls, too, because I feel like we need some sort of lighting up here, so I'm gonna, like, just kind of maybe put it in the corners and in the middles. Let's go ahead and add some tasteful artwork around. A couple sweet berries there. Um, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Why not put down your favorite piece of stone bricks right there and point to the center? Why not? Oh, I like it in here. The inside has two more rooms. Why don't you take the last two rooms? What are you going to turn them into? Here, I'll do a spiral staircase in one to go all the way to the top. So that'll be a staircase room? Yeah, hey, I'm just going to make a big spiral staircase in the middle. All right, I'll make this bedroom. There we go. What's more interesting than a single large bed is a bed sleeping quarters where you can have you and all of your servants sleep together, which is weird, but uh, I guess that's how it's going to be here. And we're going to do a kind of bunk bed style, maybe this design so I would do that was a very interesting little bed design and we've got a nightstand here they're all going to get a nice little piece of artwork of locally grown berries we've got our lanterns for our nightside tables one single painting in this room of a single man give yourself a little corner seat right there you know and then maybe uh, a couple bookshelves obviously if your books are so high you're going to want to be able to climb up there and uh, i'm gonna take it up two more right this is how we're doing the spiral staircase guys basically we're just using slabs going around the central pillar and every single time you go up you just go up one block so it's working absolutely flawlessly. We are almost to the top. I'm hitting my head right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and break this out. And this is going to get us to the top of the castle, which I think is important because there's a lot of real estate up there. And if we don't have a way up there, it's not gonna increase the property value because it's not actually like area that you can access. So then you've got this seating with like a very, very nice and comfortable area behind you that you can store stuff on, your drinks, all that stuff. Really, it just needs uh, it needs carpet. That's really the biggest thing. Let's take a look at Isaac's staircase real quick. Oh, look at this. That is what I like to see. It needs lights. And we have officially completed the spiral staircase. We are all the way to the top now, guys. We have four little nice squares. We could probably put some seating up here, and this would be a cool hangout area for whoever buys this. What I'm going to do is just detail out the top here with some reclining chairs. You know what? I just realized this entrance is a little bit different, Max. It didn't have the right proper detailing. And I'm also realizing I haven't really come in and detailed it yet with fence posts, and I feel like this is a little bit of a layer that really just adds so much value to your builds and makes it look incredible. Like, for example, up here, you kind of just, like, connect these with some fence posts and i don't know why it just ends up looking kind of good for some reason greetings why don't you come take a look at the new upstairs zach we have a lot of real estate up there if we want to use it nice little spiral stair oh fell down all right fell all the way to the ground trust me it is a long spiral staircase oh so it takes you up to this corner yeah but there's also a little seating area over here to the left oh nice we have two more areas all right all right let's just bust it out we each take our own let's make a nice little rooftop areas and, and go from there okay i want to make it something interesting and usable so i'll do an outdoor barbecue section I'm just using all the random blocks that I still seem to have left in my inventory. So what I'm going to go for here is a uh, area where you would be eating your food. 
I think it'll look good if I break it up maybe with actually a little streak of red. We'll do some more backlighting here. I love the backlighting today. As you can see, it's my thing. What do you think? Red carpet dining. I like it. We got the dining room over here. We got the hot tub on my side. This is great. It's just like a little Easter egg on the roof. You might not expect it. And you come up and you're like, my God, they really did think of everything, didn't they? Guys, it's officially time to put this bad boy on the market. So I'm going to switch to my alt account and uh, let's see what we can do. Today we're Brutus Buckeye. So hopefully they don't know that that's actually me. Lover fella. I'd like to see if we can get about three or five million out of this sale. All the money we make will be split between me and Isaac and we'll transfer it to our main accounts. So all the money you see here, it's not part of the series. All right. We are getting some people. Let's check their balances and see. Oh, we got liquor. A lot of people here. Oh my gosh. Look at the people flying in here today. We got a lot of customers here today, folks. Oh, JK has 9.5 million cash. Oh, look at that. He's got a new shield too, a toxic waste bucket. I think I would accept as low as 3.5 million today, Zach. I agree. Let's see if we start getting any DMs saying we're overpriced. Because so far I've gotten zero DMs, but usually they'll trash me if it's overpriced. So it seems like we're on track right now. Alox has 4.7 million. How much? Uh, I would say 4 mil. Rolling Thunder, how much? Message Rolling Thunder, uh, let's say 4.3 million. He said 3.5. I'm not, uh, okay, that's that's an offer, but 4.1, deal or no deal. See if I get four out of it. That'd be like 2 million each for us. 3.4, why is he going down? This guy's an idiot. Zach, pull your negotiations together here. 3.9 Rolling Thunder. That's going to be a deal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sold this base for $3.85 million. If you guys want to join my Minecraft server, play.leverfella.com, you can join for free on Java right now and see if you guys can make more money than me and Isaac.